conversation with the hug. A hug. A hug that goes on for entirely too long. It struck something so deep within me. I don't know how to describe it. I just know I felt it. Not Nat shifts her body around to better face me. I wasn't trying to make you feel bad, Finn. It wasn't my intention to hurt you. You already said that. And we are back for more Doki Doki Triple Trouble. And last time, seems that Monica learned the truth that Natsuki is that kind of woman. <laughs> and then, well, that happened. So, uh, don't know what happened next there, aside from uh, confessing to Natsuki, which was pretty adorable. So, and here's the New Year's, and uh, we'll see how that goes this time around. So, uh, let's continue where we left off. Okay, that should just about do it. I hope this turns out well, considering I followed the directions to the letter. I searched my back out after mixing the, the al albumin? Albumin? Uh, solution for tomorrow's chemistry lab. It'll be fun to see how Nat and the others try, and possibly fail, to make use of it. Seriously, it's a miracle how these some of how some of these kids even made it this far in their academic years. They couldn't tell an oxygen atom from a hole in the ground. At least the only chemistry that matters here is the one I have with not with Natsuki or Nat. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, we do. It's uh, it's the power of love, I think. Well, look at that. It's time for lunch. Collecting my things, I get ready to bounce from this place and spend lunch with my girlfriend. Heck yeah! The tiramisu she brought to yesterday was amazing. I wonder if she brought any more for today. I'll definitely have to ask. My train of thought was brought to a halt by the curious sight laid in front of its tracks. <laughs> no way. Yes way. Oh. And I see that my girlfriend is talking to this knockoff Super Saiyan. Alright. So, what happened next? I'm over this guy's PS, right? So I say to him, Hey Mohammed, I need to do I need you to do me a favor. I need you to help me look for those for the people who ask for your opinion. I can seem to find them. <laughs> Mohammed! If if his if his last name is Marshmallow, then yeah. Who asked, buddy? <laughs> Krogwan. Was it really that funny? <laughs> yes. The guy sounds like a complete tool. He is. I swear the dude must never go hungry because he's always a fool himself. Krogwan or Cock Call. Hey, I'm at least a man enough to own it. Nat places a hand on Nat's shoulder and playfully shoves her. And last I checked, that's something you like about me. Nat takes Carl's hand off of her shoulder and shoves him back in the same way. Ah, whatever, you loser. Come on, it's lunch time. Ain't gonna tell me twice. Hmm. In short order, the pair stuff their notebooks and papers into their bags and make their way out of the classroom. Uh... Hey, she really just left me in a room like that, and I'm hurt. What's their deal? Wasting no time in finding out, I head out after keeping after them while keeping my distance to not raise their attention. Did you catch the new episode last night? Oh yeah, I did actually. Oh my glob, what did you think? I was really into it, but the part where they turned into snails was pretty weird. Hold that thought, hold that thought, Nat. Aw, why? 
I had to go talk to my stupid math teacher about some missed homework assignments, and I kinda said I'd be there before lunch was over. Aw, alright then. But for sure, though, I'll hit you up later and we'll talk about what happened. Okay. Nat and Carl wrap up their conversation with a hug. A hug. A hug that goes on for entirely too long. As Carl starts making his way down the hall, I stride over to Natsuki before she can turn around. Wait, wait, what? Okay then, time to... Uh... Hello, Natsuki. Ah! Hello, Nat. Uh, hey, you. I was just coming to look for you. Is that right? That's news to me. What do you mean? You and Carl are looking mighty close just now. What's the story there? Is there something going on I don't know about? What? Between me and Carl? Nothing. We're just friends. I feel my eyes narrow at her. What? Am I not allowed to have guy friends? Does it have to be Carl though, of all people? What do you have against Carl? What I what don't I have against Carl is the better question? Hmm. -mm. You know, I don't appreciate you insulting Carl of the time. Please provide evidence that I insulted him. <laughs> oh, yo! Whoa! Oh, I did not expect that to be in there. <laughs> oh, dude's pulled up the freaking DDMC moderator on on, on her. Dang. Um. A certain moderator that, uh, which is um, a borderline um, dictator. <laughs> I, I was going to make a, a certain joke, but I can't. All right, I, I just. I can't. Oh my lord! Okay. Oh, 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 we're going there. I, I approve, I approve, like, yeah. <laughs> oh. Shut dead, just now. How? By saying you have things against him. Can you blame me? The guy's a menace. Yeah, exactly. And plus, you already saw how he acted towards me the first time we met. Bruh. Oh. He has so many things wrong with him. Yeah, he insulted me, my dreads, everything else. Even though he may act like a nice guy, but no, what a what a dickhead of a Super Saiyan that uh, that knockoff is. Nine one. Well, I just did that few seconds ago. Uh, uh. Say you can't. Are you playing the MC game right now, Natsuki? Like, are you freaking dense like like the OG MC right now? <laughs> I ain't playing your game. Oh, oh, I can. It's just that we'd be here all day. That's the problem. Ah. Uh, now it's Nat's turn to narrow her eyes at me. Don't look at me like that. Are such even about Carl? My palms begin to hurt from how tight my fists are clenching. What do you mean? Of course it's about Carl. You weren't acting desperate until you saw me, uh, until after you saw me and him talking. Look, I don't see what the big deal is, dude. It's why are you being so unco huh? Why are you being so unco fan? Because I don't want you to be around him. Oh, oh, what? The uh, lump did I just say uh, said there? My eyes widened in shock as I realized the blunt honesty that had slipped out of my mouth. That cheeks grew more flush as she she breaks eye contact with me, needing a place to rest on my own eyes. I glance down at the floor. Not. Nat's heel scuffs the tile as her leg swings back and forth. 
You weren't like this before, friend. Well, you're my girlfriend now, Nat. So, do you not trust me? Dang it. How did we even get here? Come on, think of something to say here. I... I... Are you really that jealous, friend? I'm your fucking girlfriend. I promise I'd only be with you. Don't you believe that? I want to, but... But... Look at how we got here in the first place. I'm greeted by the sight of an enraged Natsuki when I look back up. Oh no... I... see. Without another word, Nat turns around and storms away from me. Nat! Nat! Wait! I... Nat! No matter how much I beg, she continues on her sullen path. I sigh internally, wanting relief from this frustration. Great going, Finn. How am I gonna get myself out of this one? Yari, yari daze. Whoever came up with integral needs, ne <laughs> whoever came up with integrals need to be needs to be stabbed in the eye. I know for a fact one thing I won't miss about high school is the calculus homework. <laughs> At least the mod agrees with me because I fucking despise math. <laughs> ah, mathematical ain't. And likewise, all my homies hate math. <laughs> hate homie. I mean, hate. What, why did I say hate homie? I mean, hate math, gang. That's what I'm trying to say. I swear, I'm not this dyslexic or tired at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Though I will miss the stickers Miss Yumi would give out if you got a 100 on a test. Yeah? Come in. Oh, someone's knocking my door. And actually, those stickers are pretty cool though. And I would like the one that would just said, you try, it comic sans. I would like that very much. <laughs> at least, at least we tried, okay? If I, if I don't like math and I uh, screwed it up, hey, at least I tried. <laughs> and dear lordy, that was a terrible voice crack there. <laughs> and who, who could this be knocking on my door? Hey, sweetie. Hey, hello, mom. Hey, mom. What brings you here? Do I need a reason to come and visit my son? <laughs> nah, you don't. I was just curious. I wanted to let you know that your father and I will be going out of town this weekend to look at a new property. So you're going to be alone in the house for a while. Oh, how long will you guys be gone? Most likely until next Tuesday. If anything changes, we'll call you. Alright then, Mom. You sure you're gonna be okay here by yourself? You have money for your food and stuff, right? Yes, Mom, I'll be fine. I'm a big boy. You raised me well. <laughs> okay, kiddo. We love you, and good luck with the homework. Thanks, Mom. Mom starts to make her way back into the hallway and closes my door. That is, until she stops midway through closing the door. Finn? Yeah, Mom? I hope I don't find out about you throwing any surprise parties or sneaking any girls over while we're gone. Don't worry about it, Mom. I'm just gonna do my stuff and no homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, not like um, stuffing my population paste into a bakery again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'll be all right. <laughs> Funny. Otherwise, I'll have your head, boy. Okay, okay, mom. You don't. We won't hear anything about that. On that declaration, the door makes a nice click as she finally closes it. Uh. So, I'm gonna have the house to myself for the next few days, huh? Definitely not gonna invite Natsuki over and have a, a third round of tier 15. That's for sure. The ability to do anything I want, whenever I want, and nobody around to interrupt. <laughs> I know mom joked about sneaking girls over, but this is <laughs> unironically a great opportunity to get some alone time with Nat. 
Not to mention a good time to patch things up with her after what I did yesterday. Oh yeah, that one too. Though, if mom find out I brought Natsuki over here, it, there's a good chance that that will be the beginning of Ragnarok as I knew it. But hey, no risk it, no biscuit, as they say. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just say that I'm... <laughs> let's just say I'm up to bad biscuits to make the baker broke, bro. Whoever they are, anyway. Uh, I stare at my phone, sitting for forlorn... Forlorn... Forlornly on my desk, trying to work up the courage to pick it up. I don't know why I uh, struggle to say that word. Would she even want to talk to me? Or even entertain coming over? Uh, I wouldn't blame her if she didn't want to, given how I treated her. The butterflies in my stomach start to whirl up a hurricane the longer I look at my phone. Come now, come on now, man. Don't think like that. You never know unless you try. Refusing to be a prisoner to my own thoughts anymore, I type out a text to Nat before I can talk myself out of it. Might as well, dude. It's now or never. Gotta make things up. Hey, Nat. Can we talk? Please? And now... We wait. Ugh. Finally. Finished with all that homework. Should I even bother to do homework anymore? I've already been accepted to college. Hey, grades are good, man. You still gotta do them, you know. But, oh, wait, what? So really, if I had, and, and plus, he, he, he still have to graduate, most importantly. I feel my heart skip a beat and hair strand on end due to an increased spike of adrenaline. Oh, God, she responded. Hey, let's go. I swipe my phone off the desk and check the notifications. Sure enough, it was Nat who set off my phone just now. Alright, let's see what she has to say. You're sure you'll want to talk to someone you can trust? I know I messed up. Alright, can you give me a chance to make it up to you? Are you gonna do that, huh? Why don't you come over to my place tomorrow? We can even make a date out of it by watching movies and ordering in. Hey, it sounds pretty good, honestly. Come on, what's the next one? Hello, I clicked. I don't know, fan. <clears throat> Please, Nat, I really do feel bad about what happened. I want you to know that. <laughs> Asterisk feel. Hey, <laughs> correction. Besides, doesn't your mom like hate me or something? She'll be gone for the weekend. Got the whole place to myself. Won't she be pissed if she finds out I'm there? Hey, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be up to bad biscuits and make the baker broke, bro. Oh, mal. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be a, a little sneaky today. <laughs> just, just this, just this once, all right? Never again. I really do not want to do this again. Uh. Fine. Don't expect me to let you <laughs> off the hook that easily, though. That felt way too easy. Yeah. Was it too easy? After all, she did sound hesitant. Oh, lordy. Now I have to clean up the house since I'll be having company. What am I gonna... Ow. That's not serious, man. You're just having Natsuki over. Relax. After all, you have work to do. Let's start with the living room. Alright. She's finally here. I have no idea how this evening is going to go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Gambare. Hey, Nat. Y Ooh! Oh, hey, yo! That's a, that's a nice tracksuit you got there. Face down with the peach. That def- I think that may mean something, but, uh, okay. Stop. Uh. Huh. Okay. So, uh. Wanna come in? Well, I'm not here to stand outside, am I? Fair enough. Take off your shoes this time, though. I didn't spend the whole day cleaning the floor for nothing. Fine. 
She takes her shoes off and plops them down by the welcome mat. After you. Nice coat, by the way. Don't think I've ever seen you wear it before. Oh, yeah. I got it while I was away. I figured I need it for the weather here. We both take a seat on the nearby couch. Although, Natsuki scoots herself away from me the moment I decide to sit down. This is gonna be a long night, isn't it? It's... It's nice to see you again, Nat. Um... Was the walk over here bad? Not really. Didn't like it that much, but it could have been worse. Cool, cool. That's good to hear. Yeah. Guess the weather isn't the only thing that's cold tonight. <laughs> yeah, um, something's bugged me in my pants. Really? That's a best I got. Hey, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. I wish you tried that hard at sparing my feelings. Uh and there it is. Finally addressing the big dirty elephant in the room. <sighs> Fine, I deserve that. I'm not happy how I handled things back then. I just can't believe that. Out of all people, you throw my past back in my face. It's bad enough money. God did Sayori think of me as some bird slot. That sucks. And I'm willing to suck it. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Hey! The cool! <laughs> Her nickname's finally been mentioned! Let's go! Uh, I'm proud of you guys. I can't, I can't praise you all enough how freaking hilarious that you guys put in some stuff like that. And of course, some other references that we uh, that we know together back then and now. Oh, man. Why would you did that to me in the hallway? That fucking heart fan. I get that, Nat. Do you? I do. I'm sorry. I know you trusted me with so much of yourself, only for me to hit you where it hurt the most. Hmm. So, can you blame me for how I felt? I gave a lot of myself to you when we started getting involved, and I gave even more when we started dating. Our relationship means a lot to me. So, when I saw you talking with Carl like you were... It struck something so deep within me. I don't know how to describe it. I just know I felt it. Not Nat shifts her body around to better face me. I wasn't trying to make you feel bad, Fen. It wasn't my intention to hurt you. I know that. It's not completely your fault. It kind of is, though. I should have been more sensitive to you. Your admitted fault? Who are you and what have you done with Natsuki? I'm a club. Shut up, you <laughs> Hey, got her this time now. Glad I managed to crack a smile on that facade of hers. Hey, Nat. Yeah. Can you forgive me for being an asshole? Can you forgive me for being insensitive? I can. Then I can too. We get closer and pull each other in a warm embrace. This is the best hug I've gotten in a long time. I wonder what's going in in that head of hers. Oh, what's bothering you? It's... Yeah? I hope this kind of thing doesn't happen too often. What do you mean? I'm not a normal girlfriend. Surely you know that much. I got shit like that I like to do and I like it. I like doing it on my own terms. And sometimes, uh, that thing, that means I don't think about how it affects others, including you. Nat, wait. No, let me finish. Um, I know I got on your nerves a lot in the past and put you in weird situations. I wish I could be better, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can be the person you want me to be. You're a great guy, friend, and I just want to be someone you want to keep being around. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't around anymore. I take my hands in Copperface. Natsuki, I have a question for you. 
Yes. Do you love me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes, I do. When you love someone, you work it out. You don't throw something like this away. And I want to be careful with something like this, because I fell in love for I fell in love with you, for you. You're funny, witty, pretty, and not gonna lie, you have a bit of spice to you. <laughs> I know you're not perfect. I'm far from perfect myself. Nor do I want you to be perfect, because you're already good enough for me. I, I love you, babe. I love you too, Nat. I pull her in for a big kiss. I'll never get over how soft her lips are. <laughs> yeah. Nor the sensation of her body against mine during these intimate moments of time. We break apart for some time after while I try to hold on to the fleeting feeling on of her lips on mine. Say, why don't we shift gears and actually watch something? <laughs> totally not something with her and Jill, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, please, I hope she doesn't pull out a certain something out of her butthole. Okay, sounds good to me. Let me just get comfortable first. Want anything from the kitchen? Sure. Eh, sure. Uh, got any snacks and hot cocoa? You should, yeah. Let me get enough for the both of us. Perfect. I know exactly what we're gonna watch. Oh? What's that? Get your butt fr back from the kitchen and you'll find out. Yes, ma'am. With that, I get up from the couch and start thinking about how I'll go- <laughs> How I'll go about getting everything ready. Hey! <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. One dream of it. Okay, now I head off to the kitchen. I look back at Nat before I go around the corner. Oh wow, black leggings and a thin, a thin long sleeve V-neck. Yeah, hey yo, <laughs> yo! This is also a good look on her. I really like this. She has no right to look that good in those clothes, but she is anyway. I see her bend over to pick up her purse from the ground before heading back to the front door to hang up her coat. And of course, the obligatory... Me, you know. Uh... Her bubble butt looks so good in those leggings, holy sh... Before I get too lost in thought, I snap my focus back to going to the kitchen. After all, the sooner I finish, the sooner I get back. And the sooner I finish- Huh? Okay, babe. Got everything you asked for. Hi. <laughs> wow, that's something I haven't seen you wear before. Yeah, the top and leggings are some things I picked up from the- <laughs> What? Gucci? Gucci? Is that how you say it? So this is basically like this universe Gucci? Like what? Is it Gucci or Gucci? Or Cookie? Cookie? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just gonna go with Gucci then. Because, well, say that how you will with pronunciations, I guess. She'll like it, fan. I like everything about you. <laughs> and I like that Gucci on you. Not like that is a total surprise or anything. I place the hot cocoa and snacks on the ta coffee table and take my seat next to Nat. So, DJ, what are we watching tonight? It's about this movie. It's this movie about a group of Japanese high school students who are sent to this island by the Japanese government and have to battle to the death. Oh. Actually, I heard of that one, but I, I, uh, I don't know the title, but, um, knowing that this could be, like, a Japanese Hunger Games or something like that, that could be my best guess. That, and also Danganronpa 2, which I guess it could be an inspiration for the Danganronpa series, as far as I know, anyway. Just, just inspired or similar in a way. You know what I mean. <laughs> and if you guys know the title of this, uh, of this movie, please, uh, Put it in the comments down below. I would appreciate that. Why? I think it's to do with the crime rights or something. I don't remember. 
Not the kind of thing I was expecting you to watch, if I'm gonna be honest. What? It was a good movie. Plus, this was something I wanted to share with you. Then, by all means, put the sucker on. And Nat takes my remote and searches for the movie on the TV. After a little bit of searching, she finally finds the movie in question. Feeling a little cold? Maybe a little. I know the perfect fix for that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I do. Go stand in the corner. It's not even degrees there. <laughs> yeah, you yeah you put your fat ass on that corner right there and think about what you do. <laughs> oh my, oh my lordy! I mean, <laughs> I mean it is kind of chill, but still, you really don't want to put her like the daughter she is like to you. Oh my god. Uh. Says something about corners, huh? Am I right, huh?